YouTube, what's up, man? This is the Jigby game. And the Jigby game, who's Jigby? Jigby's a kid, a Madden weekend league demon. This is the type of kid that started the phrase demon. This is a demon from the depths of weekend league hell. Jigby. It's my guy. He supports my streams. He's in there all the time. You guys can check out these streams live. That link is below for my Twitch. You guys can join me and Jigby all the time in the stream. Uh, he always challenges me, always purposely tries to match up with me. And for me as a competitor, as a Madden player, I welcome that with my arms open like this. I feel like that's part of Madden. That's part of streaming Madden. You know, if you want to continuously match up with me and play me, that's fine. Um, I enjoy that. And I, I mean, if I'm afraid of that, maybe I just need to get better. That's pretty much how I feel. I want to, you need to get to a point as a man streamer that people should not want to play you. If people want to play me and people think it's that easy to beat me, I need to get better myself. That's how I feel about lurking. That's how I feel about people challenging me in the chat, trying to match up with me on purpose. And Jigby does this all the time. You know, he's a little bratty kid, but he supports me. I'll always uh, respect him as a man player and friend, but he is, I think he's awful. I think when Madden 21 opens up, he's going to be terrible. And he is a product of this game. And then you guys know the people I'm talking about, the products of Madden 20, playing Madden 20 in the summertime is nuts absolutely nuts uh and for me uh this is what it is it is three four blitz absolutely everybody every play let your deep blues try to play mix up the zones every once in a while offense run 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 and he literally chucks the ball literally he has julio jones his eye form wing stretch power stretch power dive stretch power and literally closes his eyes and presses b or x to build a ball to julio jones that is literally a game plan. Blitz everybody, run, chuck it to Julio. Let's get into this game. Like I said, it's going to be a blitz everybody game right there. Uh, looks like Cromartie at corner knocks that ball away. Next play, we're going to get time with Michael Vick. Try to go up top. You cannot beat these deep blues pressed. The deep blues are pressed and you still can't beat them uh, when they're blitzing everybody. Throwing the flats here. Uh, come up short of the first down, but we have a fourth and short. We're going to put two streaks, look for someone to throw the ball. We find the streak playing a little too close to the line there. Patna, touchdown. Randy Moss, outside streak, put that flat route there, able to get rid of the streak right away. We take a 7-0 lead on the main Jigby. I'll be honest, Jigby is a blitz everybody demon, but he's really not that good at it. You know, that's how, I'll be honest, there's some better people that blitz everybody in 3-4. Uh, but like I said, here we go with this I-form wing. Uh, I mean, I, I'm tired of talking about run defense on this game, um, but I, I will tell you that it's pretty much con contain it, contain it, contain it. Don't give up a big play. And right here, we get a sack, get Jigby to a third and long, and uh, he's going to try to roll out, hit this corner route, and there's Sean Taylor picking it off right there, uh, not taking it to the crib, but get a turnover early. This game is going to be a flood. Uh, I hope that's the key. Oh, got that arm bar on Bo Jackson. Got Bo Jackson activated for this game. I know you guys have seen me use Christian McCaffrey, but Bo Jackson just a little more physical as you see him right there with that arm bar to the face. Get me close. Get a 14-0 lead. That's always great in weekend league. It's the way to go. Uh, and, and, and I feel good against the runner. Just got to contain. Just got to stay in front and make the tackles. That's key. Um, next play, just dump it off right here. Boom. Hit stick Taylor Mays. The one thing I have in this game that I will never have again as he throws an out route just in front of my DB. I will never have two D linemen activated. Always need my two safeties blinking. Uh, right there, Miles Garrett getting off a block, hit sticking. Miles Garrett is still my D tackle. He's still going to be uh, pretty much for the rest of the year, I think. But he gets out of the pocket right there with Lamar Jackson. Gets the first down. Let me know who you guys using a D tackle or pass rusher. Do you have pass rush Kim? I think Miles Garrett is going to be my only one. As right there, he throws the ball up to Julio Jones. And that's his first of many aggressive close my eyes and chuck the ball. I'll be honest. Patrick Peterson did not have a good outing this game. Most of the time, Julio Jones was over there on that left side, and that was matched up with Patrick Peterson. Did not have the best outing right there. Um, Randy Moss lets the ball bounce off his face. Throw the flat route over here to Terrell Owens. The one thing about T.O., he can break a couple tackles. Gets the first down for me. First and 10. More great pass protection. Just want to get a couple yards with Michael Vick. You're a little too slow. Catch that block. Get out of bounds. I've been playing on balance lately uh, and got to be aware of not getting hit at all with Michael Vick or hit with anybody. 
Uh, there we go. Dump it off right there to Bo Jackson. Get outside. I need that stiff arm right there, Bo Jackson. Need that stiffy. Pause. What is it? Third down. Get that defensive pass interference. Calm down there, Jigby. That's a first down. First and 10. We're going to give the ball on the read option, but somehow that Chase Young card plays both. Next play, we're going to get sacked. We send out everybody who came through the A-gap. Got me. This is a third and long. We got, we're just going to dump the ball off to a Julio Jones, Juli Manduli right there. We're going to take our three, go up by 10 points. That's always okay in Madden. You know, early in the game, always take your points. Always take points from each possession that you have. It will do you better in the long run towards the end of the game. Um, that's why I just go ahead and kick that field goal. Go up 10. Got to stop the run here. And uh, there it is. Walter Payton. He has Walter Payton activated. Uh, Lamar Jackson and his Julio Jones activated. They chucks the ball to actually incomplete there. Uh, wanted some more interceptions on some of these passes. Next play, he gets gets the first down. Dragging Sean Taylor for a first down with Walter Payton there. Uh, Going to mix it up. Out route here. That's the thing, man. This wide receiver was either on an out route or a streak. And it's tough to guard both of them and play the run as we get the fumble right there. Scooped up by Keith Bullock. Taylor Mays coming through, laying the lumber on Walter Payton. Next play, dump it off underneath Huli Manduli. Pick up a nice 15 yards. There it is. Getting field goal range again. Get the block. We're going to roll out. We're looking deep down the field. I should have passed, led that to the right. Was a little afraid of the other corner. Do not get that, that touchdown that was on the field for me. That play, we do not get the block from Lawrence Taylor. And, of course, I, you guys know it would not be a video if Michael Vick didn't fumble. This time in the pocket, uh, one reason why conservative is great, you will never fumble. And right here, we got to make a tackle. Great job making a tackle there by me with Brian Dawkins, making sure he doesn't get a touchdown. They're going to break big young runs, but if you can make tackles like that, it will definitely serve you good in the long run. Here you know huddles. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of coverage here, worried about Julio Jones on the out route. And put a yellow zone there and he just chucks a slant and literally just terminators my team for a touchdown i i don't know what i could have did different there i had the flat route i had the yellow zone i had everybody covered everybody prepared for that and just did not get the turnover but we get up out of there with five seconds left in the half there goes michael vick i don't have fast breaks so i don't really run blast that often but when you have everybody in the box looking to blitz me i'm going to try to mix in a blast especially when there's one play left in the half and jigby is as dumb as a rock gives up a touchdown right there um gives up the touchdown so we're back up 10 points starting the second half here just got to stop the run really just two fluky passes and here goes walter payton again get an open field i'm on dawkins just got to try to make a tackle make him slow down get some help from pat pete we slow him down he tackled at the 22 yard line uh next play chucks another out route literally closes his eyes and presses x no matter what route that julio, julio jones is on runs again we're getting inside the 10-yard line. Got to stop the run. We do a good job stopping the run there. Get to a third down. Now, this is one thing he does. It's this comeback route. They literally just chuck it like that, and it dumbs out every zone over there. It's a comeback route. I honestly am just kind of learning how to do it now, but it's literally a comeback route, and when you throw it in the back of the end zone as I get sacked, fumble to the crib. Um... That's two fumbles by Michael Vick in the pocket. But like I said, this comeback route, as I'm losing now, but this comeback route, you literally can throw it against anything if you time it up right in the back of the end zone. And that's what a lot of these people are doing as I hit this in route right here to Randy Moss. Um, I, I, so it's going to be tough to stop him. Another flat route. Boom. Great swerve on the flat route to get that animation and get up out of there with Julio Jones. Julio Jones has been my money man this game. Uh, obviously, he's killing for Jigby too because he has those abilities. I have no ability. Julio Jones absolutely eating. Um, so we got the lead again. We got to stop him. Uh, we got to, like, I don't know what else to do. As I watch this game back, uh, I, my tackling or my run defense is not terrible. It's not good, but I don't think it's that terrible, but it's, it's getting pretty bad right here. Once again, open field with the human joystick. Got to make the tackle. I do a good job with Brian Dawkins making that tackle. Got to slow him down. Out route right at his own. No interception. Literally, I'm telling you, he doesn't care what's out there. He's chucking it. Second and 10. Little run right there. Another hit stick from Taylor Mays. Third and short. He's going to go with the power again. Hit stick again, but he gets the first down with, I believe, David Johnson is his second running back. Uh, make a tackle right there on Walter Payton. Just got to have bodies around the football. Another power O right here. Gets into the open field. Taylor Mays takes him down. Third and long, or third and six right here. Goes with another run. 
we're actually able to bottle that up and hold him to three. Now, Jigby isn't, doesn't take that many chances. He's going to kick his three, tie the game up. This is fine. Three minutes, 40 seconds left in the second half. And we feel great. And we're going to try to run this out. We're not going to try to, but Westbrook seems to have got his tippy toes out there. So we start this drive on the 10-yard line. No big deal. We go with a quick snap play, and we catch him sleeping. Huli Manduli up top. Cromartie is too slow. Get up out of there, King. Touchdown, 90-yard bomb. Julio Jones, we take a seven-point lead. Three minutes, 26 seconds left. Uh, like I said, Jigby's not the smartest blitz everybody player in the world. Gives up another touchdown. So outside of those two fumbles uh, with Michael Vick in the pocket, I'm really not sure I've gotten stopped this game. Hits another out route to Julio Jones. Uh, there goes Walter Payton up out of the box again. Now I'm going to make the tackle. Got to do a good job of making a tackle. It's the toughest thing to do in Madden 20 is make the open field tackles. I do right there. Uh, gets loose again. Brian Dawkins brings him down. We get him inside the inside the 30, 25 yard line right here. Dumps it off. David Johnson gets cracked out of bounds. That's Taylor Mays. We're going to get this to the two minute warning. Next play, he's going up top again. Julio Jones, this time just way too fast. And Patrick Peterson and Brian Dawkins actually had cover two there. Got the perfect pass lead. I mean, this one wide receiver is giving me such a nightmare. It's insane. But once again, we're tied. We're going to have to go back up top. We're going to hit this little drag route here to Huli Manduli. Ooh, we juked a little bit early right there. Could have been a touchdown. One thing about Julio, he's a little stiff in the hips when it comes to getting open field yards, but he's not stiff when it comes to going deep. Pause. That was really wild. Big pauses in the chat. Julio Jones, touchdown. Boom. Right there. Get a seven-point lead again. I feel like I've been up seven this entire game. Money drive time for a guy that's literally just running the ball and chucking it to Julio Jones. Got to make a tackle. I feel like this Walter Payton is, is like a water bug. Really tough to tackle. Right here, out route again, Julio Jones. I mean, when I play cover two, he throws a streak. When I play that, he throws an out route. There goes Walter Payton again. He's glowing. He's showing. He's growing. All pausing. There it is. But we're tackling him. It's getting wild right now. We are under a minute left. He only has two timeouts left. I don't care if he runs right now. Got to stop the Julio streak. That's pretty much what it comes down to the rest of this game. We get a sack right there from my man, Von Miller. He uses a timeout. One timeout left. Fourth and 12. What's he going to? Ooh, he hits the tight end. Tight end pulls to Gronkowski. I give up a fourth down. No huddles right here. Runs another power O. Boom. We make the tackle, though. He's inside the 20. Now, remember, he has that comeback glitch that you can throw to the back of the end zone as well as this Julio Jones. Got to stop the run. Another hit stick by my man, Taylor Mays. He gets to the line. He's going to spike it here. Boom. Six seconds left. I'm up by seven. First play is going to go come back. Calvin Johnson. Hey! I mean, we could have used the interception, but we'll swat it. Next play. Last play of the game. Two-minute warning. He's going to chuck it right at both of these guys. And I told you this comeback glitch is serious. I, I just just wait till they get to the back of the end zone and press the button. That's it. That, that's it. Literally dumbed out. That there time I had man coverage and a purple zone on my safety and literally just do it and just I I don't know what to do about that. I'll be honest. I really don't. I tried a bunch of different things in the middle of the game. I, I don't know. So we're going to overtime. He gets the ball in overtime. This is why they watch. Got to stand up for myself. Got to make a play on defense. Got to get off the field. Got to get the ball back. Love. I, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with playing defense because I'm going to get a stop. He's going to throw that out route right in my zone. He's going to throw a streak into double coverage. We are going to make a play on defense. Boom. Right there, Miles Garrett. Getting the hit stick right off the bat. Next play, we're, we're stopping the run. Get him to a third and long. That's what it's about. Get him exactly where I want him, passing the ball. Next play, he rolls out. Going to take a sack. Get him to fourth and long. And you know he's going to Julio Jones on fourth and long and double coverage. Another Moss. Another close my eyes and chuck it uh, for Julio Jones. Next play, stop the run. That's okay. We got we to gotta load back in. No one has any forgiveness for you. No one's going to feel sorry for you for giving up a fourth down aggressive catch. Doesn't matter. Um, third and seven. He runs the ball again. Come through with the hit stick. Boom. Get him to another fourth and short. Fourth and four. He's going to snap right here. This time he goes out route. He's just an absolute magician. Out route or streak. Pick it, throw it, close your eyes. I, the fact I don't have more interceptions is, is frustrating. Next play, Taylor Mays. I click off and he dives. Gets him inside the 20, but we make the tackle there. 17-yard line. Um, next play, run. Just got to stop it. A little bit too much. 
closer and closer to the end zone. He has the run. He has Julio. He has this comeback glitch. Can I hold him out of the end zone? Third and one runs again. Hit stick Sean Taylor. I've been absolutely baptizing his running backs this whole game. Big play by Aaron Donald. Finally, somebody shows up and stops him behind the line. Next play gets inside the five. Hit stick Brian Dawkins again. Third and goal on the two yard line. Gonna run another power. We bottle it up. Get to fourth and goal. We know what's coming. The comeback glitch. I'm blitzing everybody. No time for this. Put Brian Dawkins in the yellow zone. Shaded down right in front of the receiver. You see it right there. Right in front of the receiver. Shaded down and he throws right at him and catches it. GG's in the chat was a tough one hope it was an entertaining one hope you guys enjoyed it now jigby literally is in my chat every night so if you guys want to play us again make sure you hit that twitch link and follow there to check it out